Good evening, trustees, Superintendent Asarani, cabinet members, and members of the audience. My name is Tracy Pomeroy, principal of Johnson Park Elementary, home of the Super Jets, where we are soaring to success. Presenting with me is our new assistant principal, Melissa White. We are honored to present Johnson Park. Johnson Park has developed a school plan for student achievement, SIPSA. We engage in timely and meaningful consultation with stakeholders in the planning as well as the implementation of the SIPSA. Our plan is aligned to the goals in the LCAP. Multiple stakeholders input is collected in various needs assessments. The data sources are included in this slide. Some of the areas surveyed are school safety, school culture and climate, academic support, behavior and discipline, parent involvement, and teacher support. The following are examples of some of the data used to create our plan. Our current enrollment is 427 students. Last year, we reclassified 14 EL students. Our current number of EL students this year is 117. The attendance rate in the 21-22 school year was an average of 93.8%. This year's attendance average to date is 93.4%. We strive for a 96% or greater attendance rate. Last year, 10 students were suspended. This year, we have suspended two students. At Johnson Park, we continue to use multiple means of correction, including the use of restorative practices. Here is our CASP data for the 2021-22 school year, showing the percentage of students who met or exceeded standards. Our goal is to increase the number of students proficient and advanced by 10% in ELA and math. Our reading and math interventions, intervention para support, and after school tutoring will assist in achieving this goal. Here is a look at our school wide September AR data. The Johnson Park Super Jets are wild about reading. The next five slides highlight the way we prioritize categorical funds under the district's LCAP goals. Our first LCAP goal is to improve academic performance by creating an academic system that addresses and engages the various identified needs of all Johnson Park students. Here are some examples of how we are prioritizing the funding. Increasing the LRT to six hours, intervention paraeducators, student support specialist, supplemental instructional materials and engaging books for our library, classroom technology to enhance instruction with a one-to-one -one ratio of Chromebooks, supplemental materials, learning aids and online programs, and after-school strategic tutoring. Goal number two, create an environment that addresses the physical, emotional, and safety needs of all students and staff. We have an outreach consultant, school counselor, part-time school psychologist, student support specialist, physician, PBIS team, restorative practices, SAMI circuit, monthly staff shout outs, and staff appreciation breakfasts and treats. Goal number three, prepare every student with the skills needed for college and career readiness. This includes STEM, STEAM kits and lessons, Code Monkey and Code and Go Robot Mouse, books to fuel our two book vending machines, and PLC time, which includes planning for instruction, intervention or JET time, analyzing student data, and planning common formative assessments. Goal four, build a system of specific support for our EL, English learner, foster, and low SES students. This includes the implementation of MTSS, including RTI, PBIS, and social emotional learning. English language development, ELD, professional development opportunities for teachers, EL facilitator, assist with ELD instruction, LPAC testing, interventions, EL monitoring, and reclassification. All other decisions are for the benefit of all students, including our foster and low SES students. Goal five, 
Improve the home school partnerships. This includes school and family events such as back to school night, fall festival, Christmas parade, school site council, PTC, ELAC, Title I meetings, etc. We send out a monthly digital newsletter called The Jet, and we also sponsor a limited number of fingerprinting for parents to participate in school activities. The total 2022-23 budget is $358,056. Funding sources reflected in the site plan budget are in bold. Title I, $141,648,000 plus $1,726 for parent involvement. Targeted, $100,931. Lottery, $84,392 was our initial allocation with a carryover of $22,659. LCAP, there has been no 2022-23 allocation at this time and carryover has not been posted. LCAP Music, $2,500. Lottery Science Budget is $4,200. The next two slides show some of last spring's activities as well as activities that have already taken place this school year. Pictured here are our students engaged in jet time, our fifth grade projects, and we are really excited about our dynamic music and PE programs. Here we have Mrs. Sahota providing an SEL lesson, students writing thank you letters to deputies in honor of Thank a Deputy Day, we celebrated National Hispanic Heritage Month with music, dancing, hair braiding, and classroom lessons. Pictured here are also our dance party and karaoke Fridays as part of our PBIS and PBIS special lunch with Mrs. Pomeroy. This concludes our presentation, but before we end, Melissa and I would like to extend our sincere appreciation and gratitude to our staff, students, and families that make Johnson Park the great school that it is.